Well, I guess it's been a while since we've met, mate. Um, I guess my confession is it's been three years since my last periodic video. As you know, I got a new job a number of years ago and the job was to be the director of this um, new development, this carbon neutral laboratory that, we build, that we're building in Nottingham. And much of my time over the last three years has actually been devoted to building and overseeing and actually breathing to life the project. So this building is a, an opportunity for us to learn how to do science, how to do chemistry in a fundamentally different way, in a way that allows us to achieve the goals that we want to achieve but without creating as much damage and without creating such a large carbon footprint. Well, when you build a building, typically you build it out of things like concrete and steel. What many people don't understand about using concrete and steel is that it costs a lot of energy to make the concrete and make the steel. So what we've done is that we've built our building out of sustainable materials, quite a lot of wood, which you can see here, quite a lot of natural materials like clays, and as you can see, a grass roof on the top of our building. We're now starting to put instruments inside. There's no science going on in this building yet. But I can show you some of the spaces and I can show you where my group will be, where my office will be, just as a sneaky preview so that you can whet your appetite and perhaps come back and look a little bit later. It has been a huge amount of work and it's not just my work because clearly I'm not a builder. We've had a team of sometimes up to 100 people working here and some of the best craftsmen that you could ever imagine. So um, this is my new office. As you can see, it's not an office yet. We've got furniture on the floor and the odd cardboard box. Actually, my, my new role as director of this, this facility allows me to focus more on my research. So my research group is growing and my research group will move into the building as well. And my research group are incredibly excited about moving into a building. You know, how many people in the world have made a molecule and not considered what the impact of the, so the side products or the waste products of their process are? And essentially we've got to consider all aspects, all of the atoms that go into our synthesis and make sure that we know the end fate of the atoms at the end. So as we go up these steps, if you take a look up to the ceiling, you see these really cool translucent photovoltaics. So they're actually generating current and, and actually allowing some natural light to come through as well. So we're generating electric and lighting at the same time. So um, we're upstairs in the building now on, on the research level. All of our labs are upstairs. I like this space though, you know, because it allows you to come and engage in the environment and think about what's going on out there and, and actually relax from your science for a few moments. So actually what we're going to do with this space is put some chairs in and put some whiteboard spaces so that they can actually think and create about science and, and actually use this space productively. So the reason we're here now though is because it's actually sort of the entrance way to my lab. So the, the new lab that my group will move into in the next three or four weeks time. It's called Lab 3. <laughs> it doesn't have a name as yet because as I said this project's not finished yet and we're, on, we're rapidly on the way to getting there. So this laboratory, I suppose, at first inspection looks just like an old-fashioned lab. You know, we've got benches, along the walls we've got fume cupboards. But if you take a look up towards the roof in this laboratory, you'll see that the, the, the roof space is really quite expansive. You can actually see all of the supply and extract ducts. You can see the delivery of all of the materials that you need to do your science. Our fume cupboards look pretty much conventional. And in fact, they are quite conventional. They're sort of more elaborate fume cupboards because they give us side panels that we can move so that we can use safety features which are not on all fume cupboards. But I suppose the key innovation is actually in the plant rooms upstairs because the plant which runs our fume cupboards uses a much, much smaller amount of energy so that we can provide the safe environment to do science without costing too much in terms of energy and therefore additional carbon. It's probably one of the most efficient laboratories in the world. It's the first of its type. I'm not going to tell you about the technical aspects because it's, it's a boring lecture which will last an hour. It's very, very efficient. It uses approximately a third of the energy of a traditional laboratory. After the £20 million pound building was completely destroyed by fire. The building wasn't complete. It wasn't a building. It was still, in some senses, a pile of wood. And an accident happened. I was actually on holiday. In, in North Norfolk, in an area where there's no phone signal and no internet, hopefully on a digital detox. I managed to get a text message at about 11 o'clock in the evening and yeah, the, the news was delivered and yeah, ruined the holiday and caused a dramatic change in the following two years. But you know, the building burnt down and less than two years later we've rebuilt it. It's now complete. It now has all of its fire systems armed, protecting it, and we're getting excited about moving in to do science. So this is what's called our winter garden. It's an amazing space. 
it's for us to have networking, idea generation, small conferences. If you come here, you can see the most amazing optical illusion which you'll never see on a camera. So where the camera is, if you look over the edge of the balcony, if you have a brain connected to the eye or the lens, your brain starts playing a trick with you, you see, because the, the glass wall to the right and the wooden wall to the left are both on a really unusual incline. So if you then focus on the stairway, which is halfway along this room, it looks like the whole thing's falling over. It's really, really fantastic. It makes people quite giddy and quite wobbly. And in fact, made our builders panic. They went away and got all sorts of levels and, and surveyed the building to make sure that they built it straight. So what we've done here in Nottingham is we've run an experiment. And that experiment has been truly, truly multidisciplinary. It's involved chemists. It's involved architects, it's involved construction people. It's involved people from industries that I would never have ever dreamt of. And as I said, it really is an experiment. It's a, a once in a lifetime opportunity to try and do science in a fundamentally better way. Neil. And Neil's gonna load it, and then we're gonna drop the hammer on it. There you go, Neil. We're gonna wear secondary goggles. So here's my safety goggles, which I'm gonna put on top. Don't we look good?